when you need help, when you're out of options, and you need your voice heard. Better call four. And, you know, these scams, we know it, we hear it all the time. They can be particularly painful because not only are you out the money, but you also are being betrayed by this person who thought was, you know, a friend. Breaking hearts and bank accounts. A better call for alert as we prepare to celebrate Valentine's Day tomorrow. Romance is in the air, but so are romance scams. Our Jennifer Bullock has the red flags you need to look for in tonight's Better Call 4. is in the air as we head into Valentine's Day, but the Better Business Bureau of Central Ohio has a warning for hopeless romantics. If you find yourself falling head over heels, make sure you aren't falling victim to a scam. BBB of Central Ohio President Judy Dollison says romance scams are still stealing hearts and thousands of dollars from Central Ohioans. So in 2022, we had 13 scams with $17,500 in losses. Last year we had we had seven scams, but had $23,000 in losses. So it is it continues to be a big scam. We see it every year. Those scammers target people on social media or dating sites. They want to build a relationship with you. So it can be months in the making, and they they, they oftentimes you know they they profess their love to, to you, and you start maybe falling in love with them. Once they've got you on the hook, they begin pursuing their true goal, your money. They have a problem that they need financial assistance with in order to uh, help them get through it so they could come meet you. Instead, once they get the cash, all communication stops and you are left with nothing to show for it. Same goes for a new variation on the traditional tactics that the BBB is warning of this year. It's when a scammer is offering you to become your sugar daddy or sugar mama, and they offer to pay you hundreds or even thousands of dollars in exchange for like a weekly allowance. But the money they send you doesn't actually exist. One scam victim telling the BBB, I believed that these checks were legit and the funds were real. I ended up just sending my own personal money to these contacts, which ended up costing me $19,500. Dollison says when it comes to these types of scams, there are a lot of red flags to look for, like someone reaching out to you from out of the blue, professing their love quickly and constantly bringing up the importance of trust. That's a red flag. And when they they try to meet you, but they can never meet you, always a big red flag. It's if they're asking for money up front, if they're asking for money uh, to deposit into your bank account, um, those are all red flags that we see very common to these scams. Now, if you think you are being targeted by a romance scammer, Dollison says to cut off all contact immediately. Unfortunately, there are a lot of different tactics fraudsters are using for this. Jim Bullock has a breakdown of those, the signs to look for, and what you can do to protect yourself in this story at NBC4i.com.